there's actually five points that you can uh, you can start to apply to reframe and rethink and then of course act on loving more so the first is fall in love with yourself and nobody really talks about that you know they say like accept yourself you know love yourself fully but to fall in love with yourself I think often people focus on finding somebody outside of themselves to really feel that kind of in love emotion. So this is a great time to reconnect with who you are and not the version of yourself that maybe you find where you are today, but that part of you. And I always say, go back to, and I don't want to say like your inner child, but go back to, um, to the version of you before we became complicated, right? Just really simply being curious, saying what you mean, giving love in the most authentic way. And that's how children do it, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that. It's, and it's true because we, our love becomes corrupted as we grow. It becomes more ego-based as we grow older. Whereas when you see children giving love or showing love, it's So if that formula, so we just pure. followed that, right? That That's step one. So fall in love with yourself. The second is be the one. So fall in love with life. I think this is a great time to learn new things that you wanted to learn or you know we've we've taken up cooking just in our own house or learn a new instrument i mean the point is like make the most of your life in action right fall in love with life the third one is work on emotional connection and that goes back to what we were saying earlier to really look at where you are in the relationship and see where you can give more and I think, again, this is where people get stuck in what am I receiving, not what am I giving? You know, I think you and I work really hard at this to continuously every day check in with one another to make sure we connect, to um, talk about how we assessed our day, how we felt in it, what came from it, what we want tomorrow to be like. I think that's a really important point. And then the other two are for singles. In-person dating isn't completely off the table. You can go for a jog. You can meet, um, go hiking. You can join a running club. There's other ways to connect. And online dating isn't the only game in town. Again, do something outside of what you normally would do. The point is take action in every area of your life in many, many different ways. Yes. It's interesting because that idea, I think, is something we don't, think about enough when we think about our relationships, right? That, that idea that there's a lot of um, thought or even in our mind or what am I getting out of the relationship? Turning that around actually is one of the most important ways to to give whatever you want. 